purples, blues, greens and yellows. I'm really liking the colour combination of this back to school clip art bundle set which I just created. Now in today's video I'm going to show you step by step on how I edited and formatted all of these elements which you see just here. Now one thing I quickly want to say and that is if you didn't see yesterday's video I showed you how to take a style that you've created here in Mid Journey take that style and then bulk create a lot more elements graphics in that style and that's where all of these came from now if you want to go ahead and watch that video what i'll also do is link that down in the description now let's come back over to here because i use a few different tools to do this now one of them being big jpeg this is where i upscale all of my images. Now I've been using this for a very long time now because I believe this is actually one of the best out there when it comes to upscaling. Now it's also really, really cheap as well. So if we click onto here for a second, then come to pricing just here, we can see with premium, it's only $22, it's for 12 months and you get 2000 upscales per month. So this is really, really affordable. And again, I do believe this is one of the best on the market. Now I use this to upscale. Then I also use Kittle to edit and format all of my elements, as you can see just here. Now I've left these ones because we're going to do that in this video. But nonetheless, I use Big JPEG along with Kittle and along with Canva. Because once I've created everything here, edited, formatted, and ready to go, I then bring it over to Canva because I just like to store all of my graphics here. Now in Canva, we can actually create folders. So this is a folder just here. Once you've created a folder, you can also create subfolders. So you could have a folder called clip art. Then if you come to the three dots, create new folder, you're going to create subfolders within that folder. So this could be clip art and then you could have back to school clip art with all of these elements, dog clip art with all of dog and so on. Now, with that being said, let's come over to here so I can show you a little bit of the process. Let me just download a few of these. Let's go with five or so, or these ones. We're just going to do one, two, three, and four. Now, once I have my images downloaded, the first thing we're going to do is come over to Big JPEG. We're going to take all of these images just here, drag them onto the page, and then we're going to upscale just by 4x. That's all you need, and that's all we're going to do. Now, the good thing about Big JPEG, you can actually upscale 4x completely for free. The only feature you would not have is the bulk upscaling. So we can see that I've uploaded four different graphics. This is bulk upscaling. You can't do that on a free plan, so you'd have to do it one by one, but nonetheless, you can do a 4X on the free plan. Then I just click enlarge all images below. It takes a little while, depending on the time of the day, and sometimes it's really quick, and sometimes it's quite slow. But nonetheless, once that's done, we now have all of our images upscaled. So we can click download, and then move on to the next part which is over here in Kittle. Now, what I'll do is just create a brand new project so you can see how this goes. So we click on new project, it's going to open in a new tab. Now, everything that I am doing here within Kittle, you do also need a pro plan. Please keep that in mind as well. Now, if you want to check out Kittle, there is going to be a link down in the description. Disclaimer, it is an affiliate link, so if you do decide to purchase, I will make a small commission. Now from here, we're just going to use a standard, which is 1200 by 1200 pixels. Then we're going to click Create, and now we have our canvas. Now, quick side note as well, if you want a lot of free prompts for a lot of different things, then come and check out my profile here on Gumroad. I have free prompts for quote colouring pages, mandala colouring pages. I also have 50, which is in this one, my 100 ideogram prompts, 
this is 54 stickers and 54 t-shirts. Now, if you want to check this out as well, there's going to be a link down in the description. Now, from here, we're going to click onto the upload section. Then we're going to take all of our upscaled images and then upload them here into Kittle. So let's do that. We're going to open, we're just going to drag, drag them into the upload section. We can do that if we want. We can also just drag them onto the front page like this, or if we come to upload, we can then choose from a selected folder. Now let's just give that a second while that does its thing. And there we go. Now, the first thing I like to do is actually make this canvas transparent. So we click on here where it says standard, then we can come over to color. And if we turn this opacity all the way down, we're going to get a transparent background. Then, depending on how many elements I have to edit and format, I create multiple artboards. So we can do that by clicking onto the artboard, we can click here where it says duplicate, or we can just copy and paste. So if we do that, we now have two, which is just here, and we can keep doing this for as many as we want. Now, if we go to filter content, we can see that just here, and that's what I did with all of this just here. So I created 20 different artboards, and then I started putting all of my graphics individually onto each artboard. Now, let me go ahead and show you how to easily format this here in Kittle, because Kittle makes this extremely easy. So in fact, let's just go to fit to artboard, so it looks like this, because this one is what we're going to format, and this one here as well. We're going to create two elements out of this generation. That's why I have this artboard here and this artboard just here. Now, what I'm about to share with you can also be done in Canva, but with Kittle, it's just a million times easier, and you're going to see why. Now, first thing we're going to do is click onto the image. We're then going to come here to remove background. Now, remember, this is a Kittle Pro feature as well. And this, the remove background feature, does a much better job than Canva as well. Now, so now that's been done, what we want to do is crop this. So we're going to crop to our image. Now to do this, we click onto the graphic and then we, or the image, and then we double click. Once we double click, we can now crop. So we can crop the selected element that we want, just like that. Then we can click done. Now you're probably thinking that's good, but now we have this just here. Well, with Kittle's eraser feature, we can clean this up really, really easy. So what we want to do, click onto the image, click onto the eraser just here, and then we can make this size, brush size, bigger, and then we can just rub that out or erase that out just like that. Then we can actually make this a little bit bigger, just like so, and then we can center. So now that's been done. And that's so, so easy. Now, if we come to here, let's do that again. So we click onto the image, remove background. Now we always want to remove the background first, otherwise it doesn't quite work properly. And then once we've done that, we're going to double click on the image. We're going to crop. I think we just did the purple. So let's do the yellow. We're going to click done. We'll center that as well, just like that. And then we'll use that eraser tool. We'll make the brush a little bit bigger. We'll go through, erase anything that shouldn't be there. Then we can click done. And let's make this one a little bit bigger as well. But as you can see, Kittle makes this super, super easy to do. Now, again, you can kind of do this in Canva using their eraser tool. But with Kittle, me personally, it's just so much faster and quicker than using Canva. But once I've done that on all of the images, just like so, I can then download all of these as a transparent PNG and then upload them over in Canva. So what we're going to do is now click on export. We're going to come to all artboards. So we want all of this. We're going to remove the background. We could also optimize quality as well. And then we're going to click download. Then once that's downloaded, we can then come back over to Canva, come to our folder, which we've created, and then upload everything here. So all we have to do is highlight, 
drag everything over, and then that's going to be uploaded. So again, I like to keep everything which I create here in Canva because you get a lot of storage space as well. And this is just a personal preference of me. You might want to keep them somewhere else, but I like to keep everything organized over here in Canva and in all organized folders. So again, this folder could be called Back to School Clip Art, and it could be inside another folder called Clip Art. Now, once that's done, we can simply just go through and then add them onto a blank page. Now, the size I've got here at the minute is 1200 by 1200, practically the same size as what we use over in Kittle. But once I've done that, this is where I can download and then sell that zip file. So let's go back onto here for a second. I wouldn't sell this. This would obviously be on the sales page, the image for the bundle, which actually looks pretty good. But let's say that's not there like that. And we now have all of our clip art. Now from here, what I would do is name your project here. This is what the zip file is going to be called. So obviously this is back to school clip art and that's what I've named it here. Now what we can also do is go through and name each individual page. So this first one, if we hover over it, it says whiteboard. This one says scissors. I think I misspelt that, but then this would be scissors as well. And then a bus, a bus. Now we name that so it's easier for a customer to find the graphic they want in the zip file. But nonetheless, once you've done all of that, we can simply come to share. We're going to come to download and I'm going to change this to 3000 by 3000. Now, 1200 by 1200 is good, but the finished end product, I want at least 3000 by 3000. Then we're going to come to here and have a transparent background on all of these images as well, because you want them to be transparent PNGs. Now, all this is a Canva Pro feature as well, I believe. So you do also need a Canva Pro account as well. So please keep that in mind. All of this, which I'm just sharing, is my own workflow and what I personally do. Do you have to do it this way? Of course not. You can do it any way that you want. But with that being said, we want to make sure all the pages are enabled because we want all of these graphics, which they are. We can click done. We can click download. And now we're going to get a zip file called back to school clip art bundle. And then if I did name every single page, it would be all of those named pages in that zip file as well. And there we go. So now let's go ahead and open this zip file, which would be just here. We're now going to open that. And as we can see, we have all of our images. Now the named ones are at the end because obviously we have numbers here. But again, you would want to name every single image just here in Canva. You can click onto that, come to the name just here, and then name it whatever you want. But nonetheless, that's how it's going to look once you're finished. Now, if we go ahead and open one of these, we can then see what that looks like. Now, because this is just for video purposes, I didn't edit and format these as much as I actually would. So with this calculator, obviously these numbers are all wrong. So I would erase those numbers just having little green buttons. But nonetheless, we can see that all of these images now look really, really good. So that's how I edit and format all of my AI clip art using Big JPEG, Kittle, and also Canva. Now, if you found this video helpful at all, then please consider giving me a like as it really helps out the channel. And if you're not too sure what to watch next, click right here and watch this playlist.